The Kansas City Chiefs pulled off one of the craziest things I've ever seen in training camp, a quadruple pass trick play during Monday's practice. Mahomes pitched the ball to Kadarius Tony, who then laddered it back to Mahomes across the field. Mahomes proceeded to fire it right back to Tony, who then threw it deep downfield into the arms of Xavier Worthy. During the second offensive period, the Chiefs emphasized their ability to stretch the defense from behind the line of scrimmage. We saw wide receivers Rasheed Rice, Michael Harmon, Xavier Worthy, and Kadarius Toney each touch the football during the segment. Worthy later caught a deep pass down the field during the final offensive period. He has been without question one of the biggest takeaways from camp. He looks like exactly the guy that the Chiefs drafted him to be, and it makes me super happy because I actually had Worthy being mocked to the Chiefs at the time where a lot of people said that was way too early. But as you can see now, it simply wasn't. The guy has 4 2 1 speed. He also follows the football very well. He tracks it. He came down with a couple of contested catches as well that I saw. He's even worthy, man. As somebody who lives in Texas, Hookum, he is absolutely killing it at training camp. And it's funny because Andy Reid spoke to the media and said that I'm essentially calling the same kind of plays as last year. We just got a lot faster players. I don't buy that for a second. If you guys have been following camp, Mahomes has been throwing the ball deep a ton. Last season, he just really didn't do that and when he did it either fell incomplete or it was dropped but now Mahomes he's putting a priority on getting the ball to Hollywood getting the ball to Rice getting the ball to Worthy of course and then a guy like Kadarius Tony is somebody who's a wild card in this offense we'll see if he plays more receiver or running back to this point I have no idea but the Chiefs they've just gone out there and they've executed it's as simple as that they're trying to build off of last season where they were pretty average offensively they had an elite defense but the offense it just never really clicked because of the lack of receivers and the lack of the tackle position but in this video we're going to talk about how the chiefs have fixed that because that was my biggest takeaway from monday's practice is that kingsley sumai tie and how awesome he looks as a third round rookie and then Xavier Worthy and Hollywood Brown, the speed that these guys bring, but it's also the reliability. I know speed's the one thing that comes to my mind, your guy's mind, but it's also that they're just productive players and they give Mahomes trust. And when Mahomes trusts you, he will throw you the ball. He'll let you go up and make a play or he'll just throw you open because he's the most accurate quarterback in the league. But overall, I have been extremely impressed with Hollywood Brown. His short route running ability medium route running ability and deep route running ability is just a lot better than I had thought. Of course, I was excited for the pickup, but he has just absolutely been way better than I thought he'd be. And it makes sense because if you go back to 2021, the first eight games of the season, he was averaging just above 85 yards per game. And then he got injured 2022 in the first six games, he was averaging 80.8. So you can see that there's that's pretty good sample size of that Hollywood can be one of the more dominant receivers in football. It's just he hasn't been able to stay healthy because he's what, like five foot nine, 180 pounds, something like that. So it kind of makes sense. But if the Chiefs can keep him healthy, I mean, man, are they going to have an absolute star on their hands? Someone that they just didn't have in this offense last year. Another positive note for the Chiefs is that Joe Tooney returned to practice on Monday making the players on the active roster who were absent, Justin Watson, Nizzy Johnson, Hollywood Brown, who was sick, Clyde edwards Alaire, who was also sick, and then defensive tackle Chris Jones with that groin. I mean, it makes sense because Jones had been asking for some days off, and you can tell that he's just taking really good care of his body because he's 30 to this point now. Same thing with Travis Kelsey. Expect these Chiefs veterans to be taking a lot more rest days and putting a strong emphasis on their bodies, especially when you're playing 17 to 20 games every single season like the Chiefs do. I mean, Mahomes, ever since he took over as a starter in 2018, the lowest that they finished ended up being the conference championship which is just ridiculous so these games are taking a toll on the Chiefs players bodies and that's why training camp is so aggressive because Andy Reid wants to test you mentally and physically he wants to make sure that you can handle that and that's why the Chiefs are the best team and that's why they're probably going to win their third straight Super Bowl which again would make them the first team to do that in the Super Bowl era as for the players who have yet to practice you've got Justin Reid, BJ Thompson, uh, Jalen Watson and Charles Amenahu. You also have Derek Nani, defensive tackle. They're still on the uh, pup list, which means I actually forget what that even means. Basically, unable to perform is what that means, right? So, yeah, they're not out there. In terms of some other notes for Monday, the biggest thing was just without question Patrick Mahomes throwing it to his 
weapons. Travis Kelsey had five catches, which is no surprise. Xavier Worthy had three. McCall Hartman had two. Harris Smith Jr., new pickup, had two. Noah Gray had a catch as well. As you can see, they're getting the tight ends a little bit more involved just because they want to make sure Kelsey can last this season and play a couple more years, help him win more Super Bowl. Kadarius Tony had two catches. Sky Moore, Isaiah Pacheco, Rasheed Rice, Justin Ross, and Jerry Wiley. During the run period, Kansas City showed a wide variety of looks, seeing the following offensive players touch the football. Pacheco twice, Rice twice, Worthy twice, Hardman, Daenerys Prince, and Tony. We're about to get into Prince in a little bit here. He's been a guy that's been breaking out in camp. But as for the defensive periods, a standout from the day was Trent McDuffie, who recorded an impressive pass breakup on a quick slant over the middle. McDuffie enters year number three as the clear-cut defensive back on the roster. Legarius Sneed is obviously no longer on this roster but he's a guy that followed opposing team's top receivers in terms of is mcduffie gonna end up taking that role well defensive coordinator steve spagnola hasn't quite decided yet but we'll end up seeing i'll keep you guys updated in 16 regular season games last season mcduffie recorded 80 tackles and had nine quarterback hits seven passes broken up five force fumbles and three sacks he didn't have an interception and was still all pro which shows how unbelievably good and talented this guy truly is Cornerback Kelvin Joseph also made a noteworthy play with a pass breakup on a comeback route. Next up, the Chiefs will have a day off from practice on Tuesday before returning to the field on Wednesday. Again, I'll keep you guys updated. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's just wild to me to think that the Chiefs had their most impressive Super Bowl last season of them all. Yet, there was so many concerns with the offense, the tackle position play, the wide receivers with drops running the wrong routes, and overall not being able to create a lot of separation deep. There wasn't too much speed out there. Kadarius Tony, with his injuries and his start in the season slow, he was supposed to be the wide receiver one. Rasheed Rice ended up filling in that hole. But the Chiefs, I mean, they've been so electric in training camp. This is just the prime Chiefs, man. I mean, I remember 2018, 2019, 2020 even. I mean, Travis Kelsey looked like the best tight end ever play. And he ended up getting back to that level in the, the playoffs. The Chiefs, they go on the road. They beat the Bills and the Ravens. And then they end up beating the 49ers. Not to mention the Dolphins and the wild card certainly was not an easy opponent that was a team that scored 70 in a game against the broncos albeit but still 70 in a game is insane the chiefs are only improving the playbook's gonna open up now because they've got reliable weapons that are fast that can create separation that can come down with the football in the next video we're gonna be breaking down some players in the chiefs training camp that have been breaking out so felix anudeke uzoma kingsley sumaitai and xavier worthy boys oh and Daenerys prince guys have a great rest of your day. Smash the like button. Subscribe. Peace.